Welcome to beautiful Colorado, the Mile High State, my birthplace, home of the Broncos and Coach Prime. However, here's what they think about you. Officer, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Please help me, please. Please help me, please. It was August 2019 when Shatea Kelly found herself in this position in the back of Aurora police officer Levi Hafine's patrol car. Please let me up, officer. Officer, please let me up. Although more than a year has passed, Kelly says finally seeing the body camera footage brought her fears right back. I never knew how bad a heart could feel until I watched that video and it's like how could you treat another person like that? I get 911 to Martin Luther King Library. Kelly is the one who called 911 that day asking for help with an aggressive man who was bothering her but she ended up in custody herself. I'm afraid of the police. Animals don't even deserve to be treated like that and what you did was you treated me less than the dirt on the ground. The Aurora police chief fired Hafine several months after the incident, after she also watched Kelly suffering upside down for more than 20 minutes in his back seat. How many times I gotta beg you, master? Master, we do. But Hafine wants his job back. And Kelly can do nothing but wait for his appeal hearing to play out over the next few days. He should not just be worried about him being fired. He should be worried about being criminally charged. Chief, if you hear me, um, you're doing the right thing. I really appreciate you hearing my story. That's not what we're hired to do. We are not judge, jury, and executor. Chief said she was struck at one point by how desperate Kelly became. So she assumed the role of a slave. She denigrates herself to the point. She doesn't know what to do that she actually calls him master. How many times I gotta beg you, master? Master, I'll be good. That, to me, Honey, why are you head down like that? <laughs> Kelly survived the ride, and Aurora dropped all charges against her. Levi Huffine testified in his own defense today, trying to get his job back. Problem solvers investigative reporter Lori Jane Gleha on it tonight with more of what he had to say today. Lori Jane. Yeah, Kagan, today was the final day of testimony in front of Aurora's Civil Service Commission as he fights to get his job back. He said he does have remorse for what happened, and his attorney says he's a good person who deserves a second chance. I'm sorry, it was a mistake, but I had no clue she was in an inverted position in the back seat of my car. Please, officer, I don't want to die like this. I don't want to die like this, officer. And you also heard her say that she didn't want to die like that. Yes. And you also heard her say that she could not breathe. Yes. And you also heard her call you master. That was at the end of the transport, yes. Yes, And you heard all of that for 21 minutes. Correct? Correct, yes, ma'am. And you did not look behind you to check on her, even in spite of hearing all of that. He pulls me out of the car um, and uh, he throws me on the ground and then that's when they shankled my, my legs. Kelly says her shackled feet and cuffed hands made it impossible for her to help herself when she fell to the floorboard. It was like to the point where it was like, you have to just breathe, don't let yourself die. 